Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Obviously, we uh, have a current situation where most every school district has gotten rid of their mask mandates. Uh, certainly, that's the case in the 69th district. Um, when this bill was first filed, I, I called um, the superintendents of the three districts I represent and, and talked to them about it. Two had, had uh, already gotten rid of it, and uh, one of them, one had gotten rid of it, one uh, announced that it was going away. Um, and they, but they waited a week because they wanted to talk to the parents of immunocompromised children or the families of immunocompromised children, or I'm sorry, the families of children who have immunocompromised people at home to make sure that they were comfortable and had a plan that made sense. Um, that is following the science. I don't understand why any district still has a mask mandate at this point. Um, that to me doesn't seem like it's following the science. Gentleman from Jefferson 33. But I've also learned in life and as my time as elected official that sometimes I don't understand what the heck is going on. And then when you ask about it, well, there's a good reason for it, or at least a reason that they feel is good. I may not agree with it, but they have a reason. Um, and I don't think that I know better than these school districts or a little talked about topic of this bill, our universities, which we're also extending this requirement to. Now, I have a point I would like to make and I would ask my friends on the other side of the aisle to just kind of ignore me for a few minutes while I talk to the members of my party. Who here has ever said, boy, Washington, D.C., they got it right. They're so good. We should send more power to Washington, D.C. They got it figured out. They know what's best for Kentucky. Anyone? Because I don't. Tell me the difference. We want power sent here to Kentucky from Washington, D.C. just about every chance we get. And six months ago, we made the right decision, taking power out of Frankfurt, no matter which branch it came from, and sending it to the local communities and saying, you make the decision that's best for your district. And if the parents disagree, and I don't blame them at this point, if for disagreeing earlier, now, later, doesn't matter. There are elections for that. And I would encourage them to look at that. That, not be, that being said, I'm not excited about sending power six months ago to the locals and then saying, you know what, you're not doing it right. We're going to take it back. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.